find me on our way. Um, Tiny Tag put the air into the trailer that I needed it to. <coughs> so, yeah, we're off. I've written my, written my um, directions down. Um, because he's told me to, the farmer's told me to go in a certain way. So I've written like the farm directions down um, to get to the farm. I've just written the main road directions because I need to get to that road. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm loading at nine. That's why I'm, I'm, I have left early just in case I get lost because you can always stop. So it's like I'm taking Tiny Tag back to where I picked her up. I'm literally doing the same route um, that I did when I went to go and pick her up when she was red and white and a bit grey. Um, I'm heading back, I'm, well, I'm heading towards Leek. Um, should be roughly on time. I've got four miles to Leek because there's little old marker posts on the side of the road which then I want the 53 towards Buxton because is that I have to come off the 53 at the winking man wherever that is up the 53 ah, we made it to Leake now we've got to find the 53 towards Buxton oh dear look tiny we filled up in that SO garage where we picked you up <laughs> it's so cool I've never actually driven, well, I've never really come this way. I'm pretty sure I turn here, which is where, um, where I turned when we picked Tiny Tag up. Pretty sure I'm going straight past where I picked it up. Turn here. Hmm. I remember when I picked Tiny Tag up when we bought her I came out of the uh, lane onto this road out of Leek and um, I was coming along and I was just figuring out how to like how to drive it because every lorry is different like where the clutch is how good the accelerator is and stuff like that and it was quite Tiny, Tiny's got Tiny drives so much different to my lorry and like making sure I was putting it into the right gear because it was the gearbox is a bit looser being an older lorry and um, I was coming along this road and all of a sudden a, a pigeon flew out in front of me I hadn't even been driving the poor girl two minutes and I whacked a pigeon <laughs> feathers went everywhere no i mean everywhere because i was like trying to concentrate how to drive and then a, and then a pigeon flew out and i was like oh no um I, I don't think the pigeon survived that experience when the farmer says our oh, pity didn't come yesterday because it was glorious sunshine and you could see all across the hills today it is raining and foggy could have had a good photo. Let's start it again. So I've just had our 15 minute break um, and um, I'm just about to turn at the Winking Man, which I think is like here, because I just looked on my maps to see where it was and I'm literally just in front of it. Um, right, so this is the Winking Man and I turn here, just after the car park. Um, I did just look um, on my phone because I just finished my 15 minute break and um, hey, the farmer has actually literally just rang me to see how I was getting on. Um, I said, oh, I just had my 15 minute break. Um, so yeah, we're not too far away now. Hey, look at that, this, it's clearing. We can see the hills. That's nice. I found the hill and I found the trees in front of me. There, there are the trees, there's the hill. Yes. It's a 
a bit up and down -y and windy. I'm hoping that, yeah, I'm pretty sure that van's just seen me. Yeah, he's seen me. Thank you very much, kind person. Thank you. Right, this is the hill. Pretty sure because he said I come to a wooded area and this is quite wooded in front of me. So what's farm name? What long 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 north long north if that's, that's how you say it. Uh, oh there's a tractor coming now. Please stop there. Thank you, mate. Thank you. Here, I turn here. Ah! Uh. Right. Turn here. Then we get to the end of the road. At a T junction, I get to a T junction and I turn left. I think I've found my farm. I can't get in, so we're gonna have to stick those on and those on. It told me to pull up on the right, but don't particularly want to go too much on the grass because it's wet and I'll sink. So, pulled a little bit. We'll see. So, obviously we found our farm. I can't get in. So, we parked outside. I've dropped the ramp. I'm just waiting for him to bring me some. Go tiny! <laughs> Got on. 
I've got 19, I think, little ones. Yeah, yeah, 19 little ones, which are about five, six months old, not very big at all. And then I've got six bigger ones. Um, so the nine, I've only used three sections. Um, we've done a, a, a 10 in the front section and then a nine. Um, and then we've just put six on behind the nine. Um, so the pen at the gates, at the ramp is empty. Um, so yeah, the, uh, the 10 and the nine have got loads of room. They're not very big at all. Nice little Anguses and then the six are Herefords. Herefords are normally black or red. So you normally can get black or red Herefords and um, normally tell it's a Hereford because they've always, well, 90% of the time have got a white head. Um, so that's how you can tell what Hereford looks like with that white head and the black or red body. In front of me that he was on about. Oh. I can't go to, it's got loads of corners going, it's like, like that all the way up as I was looking at it so I can't go like too fast because I've got livestock on <laughs> so we're just gonna have to take it steady around the corners because I don't want to meet anything either this when it breaks down <laughs> Still climbing. <laughs> there we go. Still going up. Better be a nice view when we get to the top. Look at that. A nice view. I oh, was still climbing. Good old tiny tag. There was a lay by to stop and take a picture, but I bet you there's not. Probably my last drive in tiny tag um, until until Peterborough. Well, until I pick her up from wherever she's been dropped off. Um, so yeah, oh, this is the last time I'm going to drive her how she is. Look at that. We found the A50 again. Oh. Peterborough bound. What is this weather? Like, where have you come from? Don't mind me. Sitting in traffic, so I'll have lunchables. Yes. <laughs> We're not going to Peterborough. I was turning that down, but it's in my ear. We're getting on the A1 back. While sitting in traffic, I have been eating my lunchables. <laughs> Wee! We're not going to the north, we're going to the south. Yes. Nearly there, Moose, nearly there. We're not 100%, I, I'm a bit confused why it's 40. Like, I need to ring the farmer. I think to a song in my ear. Any man of mine better walk a fire. Okay, right, I'm getting off at this junction. Right, get off at Junction 16, fourth exit, meet him outside the farm. That's a good day for me. I can't sing. Many men of mine. Okay, stick in my ear. There we go. Right, so I've just come off the J1 
Junction 16 and we want the one, two, three, four to fault, 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 whatever that word says. Right. So I'm the sort of person that's gonna, gonna count as I go round. Don't know who else does that. I always count my exits. Right, are you ready? One. Da -da -da. cars everywhere because I'm at a dead end and the dead end is the farm. Um, so I'm just backing to this Dutch barn behind me. Um, I've put my tag up just because it's easier to manoeuvre um, and the tag will go up with any weight on Ooh. so which is always really handy. Where's the edge of the barn? Ooh, look at that, she's quite good that is. That'll do, that'll do donkey, that'll do. Sports, yes, that's a good, always a good start. That is, should be easier coming out because I'm heading straight. Oh dear. Uh, so this was a bit tight here. Trailer's coming around still. Missed the post with the <laughs> with the neck. There we go. We're through. All right, let's go home. And wash out. You just pulled in front of me, and now you're breaking. So I've just um, obviously tipped. And I'm just back on the A1. I'm just coming off again now. Um, and the, the farm was in a seven and a half ton weight limited um, road 
and it was in the middle of a village. I had to go through the middle of the village um, because it was down a dead end. I'm not even joking you, in the middle of the village, which you'll probably see in obviously the, um, the video beforehand. And um, that car's trying to be a great driver. Right, sorry. And um, I was always coming back through the village. Um, this woman was like, what the F are you doing in this village? And I'm like, um, well, un unloading cattle, because I had cattle on it. I was unloading at the farm. And she was like, you shouldn't be in this village. It's seven and a half ton. And I was like, what do you want me to do? Fly them in or something? I mean, a tractor's not seven and a half ton, yet that you're still gonna get a tractor through the village if the farm is in the middle of the village. That is what you get when townies move to the countryside. They don't understand farms. Nothing. What? <laughs> I found it absolutely hilarious. I've just pulled into the yard and as you can see I'm going backwards. Um, I'm just reversing onto the wash to wash it off. Um, wash this off, got to wash that off again. I've still got those on. I um, don't know if the diesel's come yet. Um, and then go home and do some paperwork. So that really needs to do and I'll probably be up quite late doing all that. So don't have time this weekend, so I'm out Sunday. Let's put that down. do that righto wash out you know what at the moment I'm really glad I'm in here rather than out there it is absolutely chucking it down so I'm quite glad I'm washing out right now Let's use this one because we've got more charge on this one. Right, so I've just finished washing out. We have got a super shiny lorry. Oh yes. Um, I don't have time to wash mine today. Um, I'm gonna wash that tomorrow. I really need to get on with paperwork. It is already 4.30 and I haven't done any paperwork at all. So we really need to do that. So I'm gonna fill out my movement book and we're gonna head on home because I really need to do that paperwork. 